Okay, so I wanted to show you, uh, went out and got some birch dowels, also oak. Five eighths of an inch birch dowels. I've wanted to try this for a long time. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. So I went out and got some five eighths inch birch dowels, four feet long. So for a 16 inch stick, you get uh, three out of each one, right? <clears throat> and uh, I put them on the, uh, my bench sander, which is like a belt and disc type deal. But you could do this on a regular belt sander, just uh, fixed to a bench of some kind. Um, so you got the, the 5 8 inch dowels, right? And what I did was, I just put a tip on them like that. I put the neck on, all right? It took me about, I don't know, a minute and a half just to uh, put it up to the belt. And, uh, and start to spin. And just be careful what I was doing. I just eyeball the necks. Uh, to uh, you know something like a 5b <clears throat> so these are the two of the ones that I, I put the tips on but um, and I thought I, I could mess around I could have got fancy with the with the sander and tried to put regular wood tips on but birch tips uh, you know I'm using maple sticks now and and they just they come apart too fast I, I did the oak as well the oak is uh, it's, it's heavier as you can imagine, and the tips um, uh, sound actually okay. The experiment was to try the sticks with the uh, with the tips just like that. Well, the oak is not bad because they're harder. Birch is too soft, so the idea was to then take the tip and take off just enough here at the end to be able to put these uh, nylon tips that I got from a head. And their tips screw on to their aluminum shafts, of course. <clears throat> but in taking down the tips just enough, I could screw these tips on with some uh, carpenter's goop. And they're on. They're not going anywhere. I made this. Uh, I've been using this for a while now. <laughs> I used to tape. I used to put a piece of tape on my sticks and kind of hang them over the edge of a desk. And I thought, it's got to be an easier way. So I cut out all the teeth and this piece of Luan and I just clamp it on each end and I've had this thing filled with sticks really. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, so yeah, the, uh, the, the, um, once the tips were on, um, we're actually when I, the sticks are, you know, the dowels come a little bit rough. So I hand sanded them. I think I did all these 10 sticks, five pairs in half hour, I guess. And once the tips are glued on, I just let them sit overnight, and they're fine. Um, and the sticks, man, I love the feel of the sticks. They're my favorite sticks of all the sticks I have, and and uh, these they came out really cool. But I hand sanded them a little bit to you know smooth them up. So I take them inside, and I'm not one. Some guys like a, you know, just the natural finish of the wood. I like to feel the slick finish and kind of get a. You can hear that. I like to get that uh, that feel for the sticks. So uh, what I do is, normally I would just use some clear acrylic or you know some polyurethane or something, and I do it right in a gallon can. But I didn't have enough, so I took I had some of this stuff left over in uh, in quartz, and this is just like a poly stain sort of thing. And there's like three different colors in there, but I just uh, I just take the sticks, dip them down in, and you, you see some where I got the stain, you know, as I pulled it out. This is the first one I did, and I hit the I hit the mouth of the bottle. Got some stain on there after shaking it up. Um, but you just, you know, drop the stick in, pull the stick out, hang it up. Drippings go into this box down here with some tin foil in there to catch the drippings. And I'm telling you, man, we're talking, uh, I don't know, probably less than $1.50 each. So that's $3 or less a pair. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, and it, like I said, uh, you know, it took me about a half an hour to get all the sticks where I wanted them. And then I just came in. I can sit here and watch something on YouTube and uh, put the tips on, glue the tips on, and, you know, uh, dunk them in the, in the finish and let them hang. Two coats. I also had, uh, I had been playing these maple sticks, 5B. And you can see they have a, sh a, sh a, a shorter shoulder than what I ended up making here. So really, if I were doing this on the belt sander to get a real 5B, uh, I would just, you know, tilt it in enough 
get a really fast shoulder. The tips on these maple sticks, sticks they just uh, they wear out so fast, man. So I thought, okay, I took some down, and I also got these these ball tips from. Uh, can you see that? I got these ball tips from a head as well, and uh, put those on with some carpenter's goop, and these play really well. The tip is uh, is interesting. What I like about these. I like nylon tips on cymbals. I like wood tips on drums. <laughs> what can you do? Um, but these are a, uh, a softer type of nylon. You can even feel it when you touch them. That a head sells. And they're, you know, they're trying to get something in between a hard nylon and uh, you know, the softer wood tip. They're really nice. They sound good on cymbals, sound good on drums. So there you go. We're talking uh, you know, $3 or less a pair. Hardly any time in it. And like I said, you just you get your belt sander and you get your dowel and you just tilt it in and spin it. Like I said, I eyeball these, so it's not like using them on. If I had a lathe, you know, you get it more consistent. But I got them pretty close. They, I don't feel any great weight differences or anything. If some of them got a little thinner than others, or a little thicker than others. So man, for three dollars, three dollars for a pair? Are you kidding? And these are the, these are they're very fast. They're light and fast. But because they're five eighths of an inch thick, they have um, you know more of a beefy feel to them. So anyway, if you ever want to put finishes on sticks, just cut out the little teeth in a board like that and just hang them there. Works out good. But as far as the sticks, you want to try this, man. You just get the just get the dowels. You can get uh, I guess they have half inch, five eighths. I don't think they have nine sixteenths. They might. And you can get stuff online too, because you know these are birch. And uh, and the oak, uh, and you know the butt ends is way just you know meow, and you I mean like I said in a minute and a half they're done, the belt sander goes right through. Um, but if you know you can there are places that sell dowels online that you can get rosewood and if you want hickory for regular hickory sticks, they cost you a little more of course for those dowels. But as far as what uh, Lowe's or Home Depot has, you know birch, oak. Um, these might actually, you know what? Are these did I get birch or poplar? These might be poplar now that I think about it. I forgot what I got. Looking at the color of some of these, they're kind of greenish. I think I got poplar. I think these are poplar. Yeah. So very light, very fast. Bounce is just as good as any other stick that I've ever bought. Um, so man, I can't go wrong for three dollars a pair. And like I said, the tips come from a head. I'm not really sure of any other places you can get tips online. I have tips from other sticks that I've broken, and I save the tips. I just kind of yank them off uh, with a uh, with a pair of pliers, very you know gingerly spin them off, twist them off. Um, but these I got from a head, and uh, they work well when they spin on like that, or you know twist on with their threads. They work pretty good. So there you go, three dollar pair of sticks. Um, you know, it's a little messy with the stain. I could have actually come up, you know, put this in a deeper, like, you know, put the stain in a, uh, like a, a uh, PVC tube, you know, pipe with a, you know, glue a bottom onto it. I have that around somewhere in a box from the move. I haven't pulled all that stuff out yet, but I can get the stain, you know, right up to here if I want, but I only need it for where I put my hand on the stick, but you can come all the way up, make a little neater, just dip it in, hang them up, drippings fall off, and, uh, Two coats, good to go. So there you are. Do it yourself, homemade, perfectly good sticks. Three dollars or less a pair. Can't go wrong. Thanks for watching.